What's going on guys? Haven't done one of these in a while. We are back. Kentucky, Missouri today. Last time we came down to Columbia, Missouri, what happened? CJ Conrad touchdown to end the game. Last play of the game with zero seconds on the clock. Um, one of the best videos we've ever put out on the Mac on Sports channel. Hoping for another victory today in Missouri. Go up to three and no, be yeah, three and two. Yeah, three and two. Get above 500 for the first time. And hey, let's go. Missouri let's go. pushing it down the field all over Kentucky. They're going to go to Roundtree. He's got an opening. He's going to be in for six. Missouri up early here. Kentucky's offense with 20-plus yards already. Horrible day offensively. Another game where Terry's struggling, putting the defense in bad spots. Defense gets ran down the whole entire possession. Touchdown, Missouri. with the 50-yarder. Don't agree with this. Ruffalo, does he have the leg, actually? And he does! Oh, my God! Matt Ruffalo from 50! Hello! Wasn't expecting that. They went with the quarterback change, brought in Joey Gatewood, put some points on the board. Hopefully Joey stays out there and the defense gets another stop before half. 7-3 cats. 10-play drive off for Missouri. Kentucky's been getting absolutely shredded down the field. Can't stop the run to save their life. Energy's been horrible. Both sides of the ball. Nobody looks like they want to be there right now. Missouri running one more play. They're going to fake it. Do they have anyone? It doesn't look like it. They go to the back of the end zone. It can play. Kentucky's going to hold them to a field goal by the looks of it. That could be huge. Keep it a one possession game if that's the case. They bring out the kicking unit. This should be a chip shot. Huge stand here from the Kentucky defense though to get a big stop. Not much action in the first half. It's been a very bland game. Both teams look very just out of, out of shape. Here we go. The kick. 19 yard field goal up. And in. Massive decision. Missouri's going for it on the first drive here early. They've had success. Look at this terrible coverage right now. Everybody far off. If they hit a quick hitter, they're going to get it. And it looks like they do. Let's see where the ref spots him. Let's see where they spot him. Are they going to give him the first? They will. It's because of the horrible coverage by Kentucky. You can't play 10 yards off. You just can't do it. This is a big play in the game. Missouri staying. They're going to go for it. Fourth and six. They don't want to kick. Bring the field goal unit out. Nor do they want to punt and pin Kentucky back by the looks of it. They're going to have to hurry, though, because they got eight seconds on the play clock. Seven, six. They bring Roundtree back in motion. Put him in the backfield. Quarterback takes the snap. They are going to run the fourth down play. Let's see. They try to go across the middle of the field. He's got it because Kentucky's coverage was horrible. Boss man fat way too far off. Missouri moves the chains again. What's new? Kentucky's playing more prevent defense. Missouri's going to Big play there by the Kentucky D-line. Now, Missouri should kick, go up two possessions. It looks like he's keeping the offense on the field. I disagree. Kentucky's offense has been pathetic all day. You go up two scores, you're not coming back from it. But Missouri's going to try to punch it in here. They go to round three. Oh, no, they go to the quarterback. He's short. Kentucky with the big stand. He tricked me, but Kentucky's defense wasn't. And Kentucky's getting the ball back. What a stand. Horrible play call by Missouri. Should have kicked for the points. Bad coaching. And Kentucky gets bailed out. Here comes Missouri about to score again. Roundtree's got room. And he's going to power his way in. I thought he was in. No signal yet. Let's see what they're going to give him. Just short at the one. Second and goal. Missouri's at the one. All they got to do is impose their will, and they're going to go up two possessions here. They're in shotgun. They're bringing Roundtree back into the backfield. He's been a wrecking ball all day for Missouri. Quarterback takes snap. Right back to Roundtree, and he's in for six. Oh, boy. Lexington. Kentucky's got a problem. Not looking good. And unless Terry Wilson decides to magically pull out some talent out of his backside, not going to be a good win for Kentucky. They're going to drop a bad loss here unless they wake up in the final quarter. Embarrassing, pathetic effort by the Wildcats. There's Chris Rodriguez. Been a monster this whole entire drive. Been the whole entire reason Kentucky is all the way down here at Missouri's 26. Now, we've not been having any luck in the air throwing. They brought in A.J. Rose. A.J. Rose has busted one deep. He got us a nice little run. They bring him back in. He's fresh. Let's see if they go to him. They don't. They're going to go back to the pass. It hasn't been going well all night, but they got Ali. Is he there? He's in. Let's see for the signal. 
Touchdown, Kentucky! Ali beats his man on a vertical route. Terry finally throws a dime. And the Cats strike. And back to a one-possession game. Defense is tired, but they got a block in now from the ball. Huge third down here in Missouri. Third and four. Kentucky's defense needs to get off the field. Let's see. They're playing off coverage. Quarterback's going to troll. He's going to be short. Let's see where they spot him, though. Let's see. He's short. They're going to have to punt. They would be stupid to go for it. And another massive stand by the Wildcats defense. Missouri about to put in the dagger to end the game of a pathetic effort by the Wildcats. They're going right to round three. He's bouncing, looking for a hole. Can't get there. One more play, third and goal. Kentucky's going to have to hold him to a field goal, but that's not going to do much. Missouri looking to put in the dagger right here again. Third and goal. They're going to go right again. They're going to go to round three. He's been the hot hand. No, they're going to go to the quarterback. He does the pitch. And, oh, it's going to be fourth and goal. Probably going to kick a field goal. They'd be smart to do that because, all oh, if they get the field goal, that would be the game by the looks of it because Kentucky's offense doesn't have the high power enough offense to win. Here comes the dagger for Missouri. This is a chip shot. 20 yards, almost as easy as you get. You practice these every day just to put a dagger into Kentucky to drop Kentucky under 500 once again on a very, very disappointing season so far. Missouri, who's been the better team all day. Here they go for the, basically the win. The snap, it's good. And the hold. That's going to do it here in Missouri. Kentucky's going to lose. Bad, bad performance by Kentucky. No heart, no energy. Wildcats, another disappointment. I mean, if you guys watched the same game as I did today, let's put it this way. Kentucky has... Major problems. Major problems. And I'll tell you, it's not on the defensive side of the ball. It's not. They can only go so far in helping you stay in the game. It's not their fault. What did they do against Mississippi State? They didn't even give up two points. That was a safety. They basically shut out Mississippi State. They had two pick sixes against Tennessee and basically was the majority of the offense last week for Kentucky against Tennessee. Tonight, they, had a, they, they literally were on the field for double the amount of time. And they still kept you in the game. But if the offense isn't going to be able to do that, that's your problem. If Terry Wilson's going to go out there and give you three completions, three completions, that's a problem. If Eddie Grand doesn't want, if he's inconsistent and wants to keep tossing around his quarterbacks, Joey Gatewood, you go in. Joey goes on a drive, gets us three points. And then we take him out for Terry, who can't throw a tunnel screen. This isn't all on Terry. Yes, he struggled. He did, but it's not on him. It starts with Eddie Grand. Eddie Grand's game planning is just atrocious. And if you look back to our 10-win season, what happened? Benny Snell, Lynn Bowden, and that insane defense with Mike Edwards and Josh Allen and the boys, they made us good. It was the players. And it's not on Mark Stoops. It's just, it's a frustrating team. At the moment, they have a lot to fix. A lot. I mean, we're talking, we're talking, this is a team that on, over the next four weeks are going one and three at best. One and three. And that one wins v Vanderbilt. Vanderbilt, you play Georgia next week. I'm sure as hell with that performance they put out today. No, 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 no. You're not beating Georgia. I'd be happy if we put points on the board. Maybe three. Vanderbilt. Oh, I hope you lose to Vandy, else you're atrocious. You're, you're embarrassing. And then to follow back and have to play Florida? And then Alabama? Oh, good luck with that. Good luck with that. Oh, Kentucky's got major problems. At least basketball's a long way away, though.